Let me show you my special Erudito cut. Here is something they have left out. something they have left out. Evelyn, what a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety? Ha! <laughs> what a quaint concept. Evelyn, are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. <laughs> oh, Evelyn, do not be so angry. Do you think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window? To the rooftops at night? How you play the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter. You are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. For that, don't you think? My men will kill you. 
Then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. Look at us. So sad. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? <laughs> you kept them enslaved, on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Aveline, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought light to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. A mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You, who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate. I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see, your aims match mine. Join me, Avlin. Finish what you started. Agate! The student returns. Why? What use have you suddenly found for old Agate? I have discovered the identity of the company man. What? Did you not kill him years ago? That was not the company man. <laughs> you ignored my warning, and now you see your error. It was your responsibility to know as much as mine, Agate. I was a child when you brought me into the Brotherhood and made me an assassin. You pretended to protect me, to root out the enemy. And all along, my own stepmother, Madeleine, was the company man. <sighs> Iniquity runs in the family. Agate! Stop! Recover your senses! No! It cannot be! Agate! What have you done to me? The order is the future. I know it well. <laughs> Does your conscience attack you? Agate! Stop! That day, when the sailors attacked you, I should not have intervened. I thought you had the spirit of a warrior, like your mother. But you only take after your father, that waxy, pale slave master. You have no right! <laughs> Our aims must not be so different. <laughs> Oh, 
poisonous deception. Nothing more. Just open your eyes. It doesn't have to be like this. The shards of the Chichen Itza disc. Work with me. Tell me what they are for. I told you never to speak to me of that. The knowledge, it will destroy us all. Without it, we will continue to stumble blindly towards what? <laughs> Not towards. <laughs> away! Put it from your mind! Mentor, do not force my hand. The Agate who trained me is a man of truth and courage. I know he still lives within you. Let him out again. Oh. What have I wrought? I should have stayed with your mother. You should have been my child, raised as a daughter, not twisted into this monster. Go now, Agate. Run! And promise never to return. You would bid me a coward's slow, pointless death? As you did Uyoa! I will not live with the dishonor! I... Agate! No! I have done as you asked. He is dead. And the disc? Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. To never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death? Whatever the cost, I do. Then I welcome you into our arms, sister. Together we shall usher in the dawn of a new world. One in which our hands will ensure that all things find their proper place. My daughter, you are one of us now. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Ha <laughs> ha. 
It does not work! Why can't I understand? It cannot be! I refuse to believe it! All these wasted years, a lifetime of sacrifice and... We have all the pieces, I am certain of it. Unless... can blame Chichen Itza and De Ferrer, but I see through you. My daughter. No. <laughs> daughter? Only two people can call me that. You banished one and sacrificed the other. Foxglove. You killed my father with your care and your tonic. Why? Because he never truly loved you? And Jeanne? My mother? You stole her child, sent her away. You kept her enslaved even after my father had freed her. And now you attempt to return me to that fate. In the service of humanity. In work. The purpose for which you were created. We were created. The highest purpose. I will not serve you. sorrow to end the enslavement of the human race. Now is the time to claim our freedom. Are you with us? I am. Eve will lead us. Eve will lead us. It is done. 